friends and welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, definitely be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things so that way we can be friends. I'm so happy that you're here in my corner of the internet. And if you're not new here, welcome back. You know how things go. <laughs> Ever since Thanksgiving, it's definitely been full reset mode. So cleaning, organizing, cluttering, throwing things away. There's been a lot of that going on. But then also preparing because we're going on a trip in about a week. It's gonna be definitely a lot of like preparing for the trip and like getting everything ready and we're gonna be gone for almost three weeks which is a very long time so i feel like there's just like a lot of things that we have to do around the house just to make sure everything's fine for when we get back but then also to like prepare for being gone for so long so before we go though i definitely want to do a little bit of holiday decorating so I'm gonna find some time to do that but first i'm gonna get ready so that way i can meet up with my friend so i can help her decorate her christmas tree i'll be taking you with me This entire vlog was supposed to be prepped for this trip and I've done a terrible job because I have not been prepping the way that I should. So we leave tomorrow evening at like five. That means I now have less than 24 hours to pack, do any of my beauty maintenance that I would like to do. Let's just get started. I feel like part of the reason why I'm procrastinating right now is I have never packed for a trip like this, meaning we're gonna be gone for a little over two weeks, two destinations. There's one for sure event that we have to go to. There's just gonna be like random things that we're gonna do while we're in Florida. For when we're in Jamaica, there is a little bit of an itinerary, but it's still like not so set in stone that we're not able to like kind of go with the flow while we're out there. This is a recipe for disaster for someone like me who is a cereal over packer and i'm trying not to because i cannot bring more than a suitcase and a carry-on the only reason why i'm bringing the carry-on is because we're going overseas i want to make sure that there's anything that's like super important to me that i don't want anything to happen to if my luggage gets lost knock on wood hoping that doesn't happen but it is the holiday season that i at least have it like close to me and then anything else that's checked it is what it is and then also because we plan to make some content while we're out there I have to bring that stuff with me too. But either way, I need that one suitcase to have almost everything and not be overweight. Cause also what if I wanna do some shopping while I'm in Florida? friends i 
I'm not gonna tell you how long it took me to pack everything last night. Packing should have been easy given that I do have like a couple shipments going directly to my parents house. So I should have just been like grabbing a couple things but all my like main outfits would have been delivered to me. Somehow it still took like I started at 7. I don't think I finished packing until like 11. Which is terrible. I'm the worst person when it comes to packing. I had planned on doing my nails myself like I normally do, but there was a part of me that was a little worried that my nails wouldn't last me the entire time. Because as much as I'm good at doing my nails, like they don't last me the full two weeks or something always ends up going wrong. <laughs> and one, one always pops off at some point. I decided that I'm going to actually go to the nail salon, which I haven't done in like months. I'm heading there now and then have a couple little things to do, but I fly out today which is exciting and like nerve-wracking at the same time. I don't know why it's nerve-wracking when like we've done trips so many times. I know this vlog was a little all over the place, but per usual, it's a reflection of your girl. Between work and just like my business, kind of working on getting some contracts lined up for next year, and then just the like regular day-to-day -day life stuff on top of preparing for this trip, I feel like I, prioritize preparing for the trip which was the complete opposite of what I should have been doing but everything worked out everything's fine I have everything all packed up now at least I think I hope if there's anything I forgot I mean thankfully we'll be in Florida first so I know I can always grab something or steal it from my parents if I really need something but overall I know that's just like my anxiety talking which that's really why I was nervous or why I am nervous it's really the anxiety that I feel before every single trip I don't know why I go through this I love traveling I love taking trips but there's always this feeling of like I'm missing something or something's gonna happen and I'm not gonna have what I need or whatever the case may be and that leads to the overpacking that always occurs with me but this time around which I don't think I got a video of that but I told myself that I really want everything to fit into one suitcase, which for the most part it does, especially after watching all the girls on TikTok that are able to pack like two week trips into a carry-on and have more clothes than what I'm bringing right now. But I just think I need to learn how to pack better so that way I don't feel like I'm just bringing a bunch of stuff. Because there's been plenty of trips that I've gone on where I've had so much clothes like left over that it was just like, okay, I didn't, I didn't need all of this. Like why, why did I do this to myself? Especially since we do plan to do a little bit of shopping while we're in Florida. Like, I definitely want to make sure that I have space for that. And, um, I can't be... Like, my luggage can't be overweight. Which is the good and the bad side to using compression bags. Um, so that's the other thing that's different for this trip is I'm using compression packing cubes versus the regular packing cubes. Which I did see a difference space-wise for the most part but now I'm like okay well is that leaving me at risk for my bag being too heavy granted we're flying southwest so it's not like I have to pay for bags but also who wants to lug around like two massive suitcases so if you have any tips on how to be better at packing for trips especially longer trips because i know we plan to take some long trips next year comment below let me know because this has been a problem for my entire life now and i'm over it i've never done chrome before and I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, this looks festive without it being like the typical green, red, snowflakes, like Christmas designs. Like it still feels wintry without being too winter, but still like vacation nails. I like them. It was a little weird in the beginning because she was trying to tell me that there wasn't a way to do it with just regular polish that I had to do dip to get this done because I was doing Gelex nails and... I don't know, whenever they say no to ombre with gel, like I never fully understand why. Because I've gone to other places that have done ombre with gel, so. But then she did it with the dip. But at that point I was just like, I'm not gonna, not gonna fight it. It is what it is. Doing really good on time. Now that my nails are done, 
I'm gonna do a quick kind of like clean up around the house just so that once we get back we don't have anything to really like worry about or it's not like we left the house a mess so I'm thinking not for maybe like an hour because it's almost by the time I get home it'll be like 1 30 so until like 3 then from 3 to 4 get ready for the airport do like any last minute like packing of my little carry-on handbag and then head to the airport.